Beardo Benjo. Video games. They come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and of course, prices. Now us VR players tend to pay prices on the lower end of the scale, in terms of the entire industry. If you look at a traditional AAA flat screen console or PC game, most of them cost around 50 to 60 pounds if we're talking UK currency. Now a top end VR game typically costs about half that price. But money is completely relative. What is cheap to one person is extremely expensive to another. And I've been thinking about that on the run up to Black Friday and of course, Christmas, it's just around the corner. And I fully expect a whole ton of brand new Quest owners to be jumping into VR for the first time over the next few months. And those new Quest owners might be looking for some experiences to play that aren't gonna break the bank. And that's what this video is. I've compiled a list of what I think are the very best free VR experiences for the Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. Now in the beginning of this video, I'll be covering games and experiences that are native to the Quest. So these things will run natively on the headset itself. You won't need anything else to run them. And then at the end, I'll touch upon some PC games which can be played with a Quest if you link up to a PC, which are also free and also amazing. Now, if I've missed any crucial free experiences on this list, please, please drop them down in a comment below because I would love these new Quest owners to be able to come here and find a whole smorgasbord, a banquet of amazing free to play content for their brand new headset. I want these players to feel welcomed into the community and know that they don't need to break the bank to have an amazing VR experience. Please drop those comments down below if I've missed any experiences on this list that you think I should have added. And let's have a little look at what I think are the very best free experiences for the Quest 2. And some PC VR ones too. Take it away. Okay, let's get going with the list. Now, as I said at the start, all of these games, unless I say so, are completely and utterly free. The first game I played on my Quest 2 when I picked it up was Bait, a free chill out fishing experience that eases new users into virtual reality. Hang out in four unique lake locations, catching fish and taking in the atmosphere in this awesome free fishing game. These next two titles should really be pre-installed on every Quest 2 out there due to the sheer amount of content they offer for absolutely no cost. First up is VR Chat, a social experience that can be a little daunting at first, but hop in with a couple of friends or head in alone prepared to make some new ones and you'll soon be exploring endless user-created worlds, games and experiences. You could even become any character you can imagine thanks to a near infinite supply of custom avatars. The second social experience that should be on every single Quest 2 is of course Rec Room. Once again, this free title is packed to the brim with user created content. Go on adventures, play some paintball, race some go-karts, play some sports, or just hang out with friends. Rec Room is a gateway to infinite unique gaming experiences and it's completely free. Sometimes you just feel like monkeying around, and there is no better place to do that than in Gorilla Tag, a small indie game that exploded to huge popularity when it launched last year. The setup is simple. You play as a gorilla, and you hop into large-scale games of tag. Evade players trying to tag you by climbing trees and using parkour to explore the levels. That's the basic concept, but you can spend hours in here just playing with the movement and traversal mechanics. However, be prepared for some loud monkey noises over the public chat channels. Slowing the pace down a little bit now is Cards and Tankards, a full-blown VR card game with customizable decks and a warm, friendly tavern environment. Go head-to-head -head with other players and battle to settle a score, or just grab a virtual drink and watch others play. This little competitive card game is so amazing that I'm always shocked when I remember it's completely free. If you've been eyeing up the fantastic Pavlov VR and hoping that there might be a Quest 2 port somewhere down the road, don't worry, there's already a free Quest version called Pavlov Shack. 
Now, whilst a Quest 2 version that more closely resembles the PC copy is supposedly in the works, this slimmed down and more importantly free version of the incredibly popular FPS is available via SideQuest. This version of the game supports the traditional multiplayer modes and zombies mode, however there is no mod support, meaning the maps, guns and experiences available on PC are nowhere to be found currently on the Quest. Another free multiplayer shoot 'em up now, Gun Raiders. This is a free to play and incredibly chaotic FPS for the quest. Hop into classic multiplayer modes like Team Deathmatch, Assault and Control and take down your opponents with guns or melee. Carrying on the FPS trend is Hacks, a free game that blurs the lines between digital and physical warfare. Battle sentient intelligent robots with digital weaponry in this fast-paced, early access VR shooter. With intuitive VR controls, Hacks aims to stay true to the fun and excitement of traditional shooters whilst harnessing the power and immersion of virtual reality. One of the most competitive VR games now, Echo VR, not to be confused with Lone Echo, although it was spawned from that series, is a multiplayer version of something that closely resembles Ultimate Frisbee in Zero G. The goal is to score points by throwing your team's disc through the opponent's goal, but navigating the arena in Zero G with enemies able to block your shots or stun you adds a genuinely deep level of competitive action to the game. Much like many of the games on this list, it's crazy to think this product is free. Did you ever have a Tamagotchi when you were younger? I did, and I forgot to feed it. It died. I was traumatized. If you're looking for something similar in VR, then BOGO is a short virtual pet experience for the Quest that's great for getting newcomers acclimatized to wearing the headset and using the product. Want to play some poker, but perhaps you don't have a very good poker face? Good news! You can download PokerStars VR completely free and use an avatar that has a better poker face than you could ever dream of having. However, that won't make you automatically good at poker. You still need to know how to play the game. But at least here if you lose, you won't be losing your real cash or car or house. Half and Half or Half Plus Half is a tough game to explain. It's a silly little multiplayer experience with tons of charm and five different unique spaces to jump into with friends or random players. Go swimming, glide through the sky, or play a unique game of hide and seek where the seekers are giants and the hiders are the size of an ant. T for God is a testament to how good room scale VR can be when done correctly. Even if you don't have a huge play space, this free action adventure game will make you feel like you've covered a huge distance as you progress your way through a futuristic landscape filled with enemies and customizable equipment. Fans of roguelikes and VR shooters will no doubt fall in love with T for God. Even if you're not a huge fan of the Attack on Titan anime or manga, this fan-made VR experience is still a must-play, purely because of how it makes you feel whilst swinging through the air at high speed and chopping down gigantic titans in VR. Fans of the franchise will surely get a vast amount more out of this experience, but as it's another free experience, I would urge all Quest owners to give it a go at the very least. Before Blade & Sorcery arrived on the Quest platform recently, there was only one place players could go to get their physics-based weapon fighting fix, and that game is Battle Talent. This is currently a free demo for an upcoming dungeon crawler, and it has some of the best arena combat on the Quest platform. And to make it even better, you can also pack the game with incredible mods. It might just be a free demo, but when you start playing with the mod support, it's easy to see how players can spend hours and hours in this game. Time for another multiplayer shooter, say hello to Hybo. Grab your bow and arrow and pretend to be Legolas or Hawkeye in this awesome online multiplayer shooter that prioritizes high flying action, traversal and bow and arrow centric combat over the frantic high caliber action of something like Pavlov. And would you look at that, another multiplayer FPS that won't break the bank. AIM XR is a completely free 5v5 fast paced multiplayer shooter. Play online with people or play offline against bots and you can also host a LAN server and play with users on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you have a bunch of Oculus Quests laying around at home, set up some LAN gaming like the olden days.
Shockingly, the one and only racing game on this list, V Speedway, is an arcade racing game with simple rules, no fuss physics, and exciting driving feedback. Drive by grabbing the wheel, gear stick, and handbrake to get full control over your car, or use buttons and automatic transition. It's entirely up to you. Race up to 11 opponents on 5 difficulty levels in single race, test your skills against the clock in time attack, or take a break in free ride. Traversal lets you play exciting room scale games while actually walking through them using your own feet to experience a new level of immersion. Play on your own or together with friends in procedurally generated levels that offer up limitless opportunities and adventures. This is another title that really shows the potential of transforming your physical play space and moving around it in real time. Do you remember playing Temple Run on your phone? Well, Brisk Square is a VR Temple Run style endless runner set in a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk world. Players are challenged to push as far forward into this infinite landscape as possible, starting with a simple blade and pushing forward to unlock better items and upgrades. Now, if you're looking for some top tier spooks, then there's no better place to start than the original Slenderman experience fully converted into a VR game. Slenderman VR takes the original 8 pages format and throws players into the woods in search of Slender's pictures which are randomly scattered around the world. Just make sure you move fast because the more you find, the angrier Slenderman gets. Another spooky fan project here that's been converted into a full-blown VR title and is completely free of charge. Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Now this game has a full-blown story-driven campaign and the classic and infinitely replayable custom night mode that FNAF fans have come to love. All rebuilt to be fully interactive and terrifyingly immersive in VR. Now one of the most popular free titles on the quest due to its laid-back and social approach is Gym Class, an app that lets you hang out with other players in digital basketball courts whilst shooting hoops and pulling off genuinely incredible trick shots. Seriously, how are players getting so good at shooting digital hoops and slamming virtual dunks? I cannot figure it out. They're doing front flips. They're doing back flips. This stuff is crazy. Designed as a tool to showcase the hand tracking capabilities of the Oculus Quest platform, Tiny Castles is a game where you play as a powerful god. Sounds good, huh? The game's objective is simple. Free your believers from the evil god and his minions and advance forward to destroy the obelisk which powers the evil in this world. The game was built to identify the types of game mechanics that could work well with hand tracking, and for this reason it lacks real challenge or depth, but does showcase just how good hand tracking can be when implemented correctly. Now this is the first game on this list, or the first set of games, that might actually require a small payment from players to access the content, but there's a very good reason for this. Team Beef, headed up by Dr. Beef, have been porting classic PC games into VR and making them available for the Quest for a few years now. Currently, you can get hold of Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, the original Half-Life, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and Quake, all on the Quest natively. You do need to own the original PC game to access these files though, so that's the small payment you may need to make. Bear in mind that games like Half-Life and Doom can be picked up for pennies at this stage, and if you already own them, then fantastic. You can already play them in full VR on your Quest, and they're absolutely amazing. Now before I wrap up this list, I wanted to bolt on a few more titles at the end for those of you lucky enough to have a PC. If you do have a PC that's VR capable, these are PC VR games that are completely free of charge that will work with a Quest if you plug your Quest into the PC or connect via Airlink. First up is one of my absolute favourite VR horror games, Propagation. I can never figure out why this is free. It looks stunning, it sounds stunning, it's so fun to play, and it's genuinely terrifying. Find yourself stuck to the spot, only able to spin around whilst fending off zombies, giant spiders, and terrifying mutants in an abandoned subway station. The whole game's only around 20 to 25 minutes long, but I guarantee you'll want to replay it over and over again. Google Earth is more of an experience than a game. That's quite obvious from the off. 
I've used this tool multiple times to transport myself somewhere else in the world, somewhere I've perhaps never been before, or perhaps back to a location I visited when I was younger for a shot of nostalgia. There's something really special about being able to teleport yourself somewhere else in the world using a VR headset, and Google Earth VR, which is completely free, allows you to do that. Perhaps you fancy yourself as a bit of a spy, a little bit of a detective. Well, in this game, Red Stare, you can transport yourself back to 1950s America and go on the prowl for secret communist agents. The twist here is that the job must be performed from the comfort of a single room. You cannot leave that location. The player must observe their neighbours across the street and through a series of clues, identify which of them is a communist spy. Who doesn't want to become a superhero? Who doesn't want to pretend that they're Spider-Man for 10 minutes, for 20 minutes, for a couple of hours? Well, you can with the Spider-Man Far From Home VR experience. This was quite a short, simplistic tie-in to the movie that released a few years back, but it's still available and it's still completely free. Swinging around a quite simplistic New York will always feel fantastic, and I highly recommend anyone to try this out. But it is one that you do need quite a strong VR stomach for because the swinging is a little bit nausea inducing, especially for new VR players. Now, if you don't own Return to Castle Wolfenstein and therefore can't play the amazing Dr. Beef port for the Quest, don't worry, there's another free Wolfenstein game for PC VR. This is Wolfenstein 3D VR and it packs so much goodness into one little VR package. Storm through Castle Wolfenstein and take on the Nazi forces guarding it. Every single level of the original game has been lovingly recreated for VR and the player to enjoy. This next title is one of the best VR games you can get your hands on and it is completely free. However, there is quite a substantial amount of paid DLC if you should want to engage with it. New aircraft, new options, all sorts of things you can fork out for if you love it. But you don't have to, you can jump in free of charge. DCS World Steam Edition is a flight sim, a combat flight sim at that, which is very, very complex. The game puts you in charge of an aircraft and all its majesty, and the controls will take you time to learn, but what the player can pull off with these controls is fantastic. You can drop bombs, fire missiles, evade enemies, amongst other things. And if that wasn't enough, there's also mod support. Another one of my absolute favourites now, Face Your Fears, made by Turtle Rock Studios, the devs who brought us Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. This is more of a jump scare simulator than anything. There's not a huge amount of mileage to get out of this game. Once you've seen the scares, you know what the game entails. However, it is completely free and it's great to throw your friends into, throw unsuspecting family members into, and then just sit back sit back and enjoy as they recoil in terror, unaware of what's about to happen to them. Finishing off this list of the best VR experiences that won't cost you a single penny is Valve's The Lab. Now this is another PC VR game that's completely free of charge and it's a compilation of Valve room scale VR experiments set in a pocket universe within Aperture Science. The Aperture Science made famous, of course, by Portal. You can fix a robot, you can defend a castle with bows and arrows, you can adopt a mechanical dog, and more. It's got all the humour of a typical Valve game, and the polish is to such a high degree, it does shock me that this is another free one. But there are a huge amount of amazing free VR experiences out there that are polished to an incredibly high degree, and I hope this video has shown you that. Hopefully you found some games on here that you like the look of. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And if there's stuff I haven't mentioned, as I said at the start, please do chuck it down in the comments below so that other people can find some amazing free experiences. We don't always have to break the bank to play some amazing VR games, and for newcomers into VR, it's important to share these free experiences. I hope you've all enjoyed, guys. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another one. Take care of yourselves. See you later.